Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite lures, one of the most versatile lures you can fish anywhere in the world for any species, and that is a 7-inch soft plastic sluggo. Today we're rigging them on owner beast hooks, 4-0 or 6-0 hooks, and we're using a little bit of keel weight, about a 16th or an eighth of an ounce keel weight oh, on the hook. Slow. Check out this video. Comment below. Oh God, on the pause. You know, the reason why these soft plastics are so effective, and I would say the most versatile lure in the world is a soft plastic, but it's just breaking that linear motion, the straight motion, and being able to get that side-to-side -side action, up and down action. I mean, that one was on the pause, twitch, 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 pause, making it non-mechanical is what makes them react so well to these lures. Um, I mean, a seven inch slug, oh, this is the, the profile is just, just perfect. The size is perfect, I mean. You got that one, he sucked that one in deep. Andrew's showing us how to rig the seven inch slug, oh. Yeah, with an owner beast, with a one eighth ounce keel weight, this is a six out hook. You take the spring with the centering pin, you put it right in the nose there. Slide that in, give it a twist. Goes on just like a screw. That centering pin is awesome too for it's keeping great. it nice and, and straight. As far as I know, Owner's the only brand that has them like I that. I believe so. And then what I do is I take my finger right there and I see where they're going to line up. And so I go like that. Yeah, you want to keep it nice and straight yep. and get and the right distance. These don't have a hook pocket like some other baits, but you kind of just go right in the middle and you come up right where you should be, right there. And you want so that lays oh, nice yeah. and flat just that. like that. He's good so looking. This is Texas rig too, so it's like it's pretty much weedless, almost entirely weedless too. Mm -hmm. Great method for catching bass when they're feeding near the surface. For sure. Let's go. So about cast and angle, because we're spot locked. You know, if we throw more up current, we're gonna sink a little bit. Uh, I don't really want to be reeling these against the current, so I'm kind of casting, uh, kind of 45 to 90 degree angle of the current. But I mean, that's something you have to play with. Um, letting it sink. There we go, nice. Oh, right there. That was on kind of a twitch, twitch, pause, let it settle back down. It starts to ride up to the surface a little bit, especially when the current starts to pull on the uh, bait a little bit and just let that settle back. And uh, that's what triggered the reaction strike. We'll fish these with just a traditional owner beast hook with no weight on it. This one has a little bit of keel weight and it really depends on the current and wind. So as you get into a little bit more current, a little bit more wind, the keel weight is going to help keep the bait down a little bit, give it a little bit better action. Um, as you, you know, if you were fishing an area with real calm, still water, I'd probably fish it unweighted. Um, but that's something you got to play around with. The, Soft plastics are very sensitive to wind and current. Uh, oh man, that was a nice hit right there. So, uh, you know, casting angles make a difference, the boat control. So whether you're stationary, you could be surf casting or spot like we are right now, this is a good hit. Um, the, bait, the bait's gonna behave differently than if you're drifting. Uh, if it's windy, oh my God, another hit. That was, a, my, I think my third or fourth hit on that cast. Um, if it's very windy out, and the boat's all over the place, it's really gonna affect, you know, you're gonna have the bait pop out of the water. It's not gonna um, <clears throat> do what you want it to do. So, um, you know, keep in mind that rigging the baits differently with different weights and controlling the boat is gonna make a, a difference. Another thing is the to get the right action um, as we're twitching. There's another bite, oh, another one. Um, he's still swirling on the lure. I could feel he followed the lure up. But I think it probably twisted around the hook point there. But that was uh, three hits from the do that. Um, so for the action, we actually need to have a little bit of slack line in between each twitch. So if I'm reeling, reeling, reeling and twitching too much, I'm not gonna get any side-to-side -side action. 
okay? Because I'm just going to be, because after I twitch, that's what allows that lure to kick to the side. So I have to have a little slack in my line between each twitch, just enough to allow the lure to travel that, you know, six inches or so to the side. And that's what's going to get you your bite. That's that, what we call a walk the dog action um, with the top water, for example, is you're getting just a little bit of slack and you're allowing that bait to move side to side. And that's really one of the key things as you're fishing these. Maybe we'll pop off spot lock for a second and we'll get a, a little bit better action out of the bait if we drift with it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our boat off spot lock and we're gonna get better action out of the lure. We're gonna do a slow drift. I'm gonna use my autopilot on my trolling motor and we're just gonna drift about maybe a half a mile an hour. So we'll drift with the bait a little bit. And that'll kind of take out some of that bow in the line and some of that pull from the current. And you actually get better action when you're fishing in a river if you drift with your bait a little bit. That was a nice swirl. Yep. Up oh, there you see. Nice. So super common to get a follow-up hit. The biggest mistake you can do with these is when you get a bite, it's just real luring. And I see a lot of people do that huge mistake because you're almost always going to get follow-up hit hits. It's not uncommon to get five hits per retrieve, and it can take, you know, it's going to swipe at it. It's going to miss it. Um, it's going to bump it. So you need to um, stay with the retrieve and keep on working it, pausing it, and you got to sell it. You know, you got to sell it to him. You got to sell them on that on that piece of plastic. So you continue to work it after you get hit, and, and majority of your, your fish that you land are gonna come on that follow-up hit. And that's a healthy springtime schoolie, early spring estuary fishing, 25 inch fish. we're using are the, the G Loomis E6X rods. Uh, it's an 843 SF and this rod is just perfect for throwing soft plastics. Even the unweighted soft plastics when we use five inch um, soft plastics. The little bit faster tape on these rods allows the rod to load better and really punch these lures well because you're not going to cast a soft plastic as far as, you know, say a hard plastic or a metal lure, obviously. But this is the right combination of enough backbone and taper, a fast enough taper to, to punch this rod well. If your rod's too flimsy, um, you're not gonna be able to cast as well with these lighter um, soft plastics. Uh, the keel weight helps a little bit, having the keel weight in there. Um, and then the other thing is the lighter braid. We're using 15 pound Power Pro Super Slick. Uh, casts really well, uh, less drag in the water too, uh, and the reel is the Shimano Stratic 4000. And that's just the, in my opinion, just a great setup for throwing soft plastics. <clears throat> oh, that was on, on the slack, on the pause, he hit it. I just saw the line jump just a little bit. Yep. <laughs> it was just a little bit of slack line. You need just a little slack just to let the, the lure settle a little bit.
<clears throat> yeah, that one was just shortly after. You got another one? Nice. <laughs> Batter, but uh, I don't think he's uh, quite long enough. Yet. Oh my god, look at this! Look at this! Oh my god, he's got a whole herring down his mouth. Look at that. Get, oh, can we get the Hey guys, I'm Mike Roy from Real Cast Charters. I am a full-time guy based out of Connecticut and I'm gonna be producing more content coming up. I hope this video helps you learn more about fishing one of my favorite lures, the soft plastic. We're gonna have upcoming videos on fishing larger and smaller soft plastics, different ways to rig them. Please subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned, catch them up.